In this video, we're going to show you step-by-step -step how to transform complex PDFs into insightful blog posts automatically using AI automation with a low-code approach. On the left, you see a complex 40-page PDF from Gartner Research that highlights the future of generative AI. As you can see, this is a very lengthy and complex document that's hard to extract the key insights from it. On the right, you will see a blog post that was automatically generated using this AI automation with our team of agents. As you can see, it's much shorter and at the same time provides a level of insight that is very difficult to extract manually. So what are, are some of the other key use cases where this is important? Medical research. This AI automation workflow could be used to transform complex medical research papers into accessible health articles bridging the gap between scientific findings and public understanding. Financial reports. In the finance sector, convert dense financial reports into insightful market analysis. This enables investors, analysts, and business leaders to quickly grasp trends and make informed decisions based on comprehensive interpretation of financial reports. Academic papers. For the academic world, turn intricate academic papers into engaging blog posts, helping researchers share the findings with a more broad audience and potentially increasing the impact of their work. So let's demo how this AI automation works in action. All right, let's do a quick demo. I'm going to test workflow. This will bring me a form that I can select the tone that I want. All right, so we're going to select from this form uh, the tone, so it could be professional, casual, or witty. And then I'm going to just select a default of 1,000 words, default of uh, six uh, sections. And then I'm going to choose the file here, uh, the Gartner report. All right, and then I'm going to submit the form. All right, so this kicks off the workflow. And it's going to extract from the PDF. And then it's going to have the content analyst go through and produce essentially a table of contents that the project planner next could then uh, figure out uh, how they want to delegate to the various writers. So we specified six sections. So um, the project planner will take six uh, sections uh, and, and then uh, delegate uh, to six writers. So this will then uh, spawn off in this six different uh, writer agents. And each of these agents now are processing uh, one of the chapters that they're writing. So this will take uh, a few minutes uh, because it's uh, doing quite a lot of processing in terms of uh, working with uh, the PDF and then uh, writing the various chapters. So we'll pause here and then we'll come back to it once it's done. All right, so all the team of uh, workers, uh, they've completed their work and we're now passing the uh, final article text into the editor who's polishing the draft. And then uh, we are going to uh, uh, create a title for it and then upload it to Go. So I am in my Go's admin uh, console and I'm just going to refresh this. So it's generated this, uh, this uh, document here. So I'll click into this and then it's generated this automatically. So how does this work? Let me walk you through how our AI automation works in this case. The automation tool we're using is Ante 10 and it's a very, very powerful tool that can be self-hosted. The great news is that you don't have to be a tech expert to use it. It's low code. And I've built a, a railway.app uh, template that is incredibly easy to set up. So you just go into uh, the railway.app, and then you press deploy. And then you've got it going in about five minutes. So next thing is that at the heart of our system is an AI agent team consisting of four specialized agents. There's the content analyst who digs deep into the PDF to extract the key information and the structure. Uh, there is the project planner uh, who organizes workflow and ensures efficient processing. There's the writer uh, who crafts the engaging uh, content based on the information that has been analyzed. And then finally, there's the editor who uh, polishes the final output for accuracy and reliability and readability. All right. And then uh, we'll, we'll then uh, go through and I'll show you step-by-step uh, uh, with a build walkthrough, uh, as well as how we can deploy that. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that uh, next. But let's uh, next look into uh, the specifics of the agent flow. 
All right, so in this agent team, uh, we have a content analyst, as I mentioned, and the project planner uh, that works with a content analyst to uh, help organize the and delegate the work. Now, depending on how many sections uh, that was specified in uh, that the user wants, uh, the number of writer agents will be uh, created. So in, in the case of the demo, we said six sections. So six writer agents are created, each writing a section of the report. And then finally, everything is combined for the editor to uh, edit and have a final uh, polished blog. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a build walkthrough. All right, so we'll start uh, with the left uh, most node. We'll drill down into that a little bit first. So this is a Anutan form trigger. So when uh, we specify uh, to run it, uh, we will be able to uh, uh, put into here the different fields that you saw in the demo. So there's a tone field, and we have a drop-down list of professional, casual, or witty, and we can add more field options for additional uh, tone of voices. And then this is a required field, so I specified this. Uh, we can specify the number of words. Uh, so. Uh, this is a text field, and this specifies how long the report will be. So there's a um, pre pretty cool flexibility here that we have. There's a number of sections, and this will uh, uh, prompt how many uh, agents will be created. And then finally, uh, we have the file uh, that is then to be uploaded locally. All right, so we have this node. And then it goes into um, the extract node. So this node here extracts from the PDF, and then it creates uh, a text file, or it creates text that then can be passed into um, the next node. So this section here is about uh, extracting the PDF and then analyzing the content. So the content analyst, uh, so we have a uh, AI agent node here that is a conversational type. So uh, we're able to uh, take the text that we get from uh, the, the extracted text. And then here's the prompt that I'm using. So is a content specialist, analyst specialist, and they uh, go through the various steps uh, to analyze the content properly, carefully reading the document, identifying the main topics or theme, recognizing the key points, organizing the key elements in logical hierarchical structure, creating a table of contents. And so th there's a, a quite a detailed prompt that is used. So this is used to get a lot of insights in terms of what this document is about so that uh, we can then pass this to the next phase of our workflow, which is uh, to plan the work and to delegate to the writer. So uh, the next persona is the is the project planner. And the, uh, the, the role of the project planner is to write the title, the subtitle, uh, and, uh, and, and various uh, conclusions. And, and uh, we can also have an, an image prompt here as well if we want to. And then uh, we take the input uh, as uh, from the content analyst, so all the uh, different research that was done on the article uh, or the PDF, uh, it's input here. And then uh, we use some more detailed instructions here on how to structure the output so that we can then uh, delegate to the writer. So each of the writers will have a, a section uh, that uh, this project planner uh, uh, plans, uh, and then uh, they will work on it separately. So, so then we have the delegation to the writer. So then we finish this second phase. And this third phase is the team of writers working together on each chapter. So we'll look at this in more detail. So the persona here is, uh, you know, this is a, a skilled writer specializing in creating engaging informative uh, content. And then so uh, there are tasks is to write a chapter in the blog. So there's some guidelines here about how long the chapter should be based on the input from the form. And then uh, here is where we pass in the specific chapter uh, that we are asking uh, to be written. And then this is uh, all the text that we've extracted. So each writer will have all the text uh, from uh, the PDF, right? So it, it uses that to source information. And then uh, in the last uh, couple of phases, we have the editor polishing the draft. So uh, we merge everything from all the writers, and then we put everything into one document. Uh, there's a bit of code here, uh, but all this does is this uh, combines everything from this chapter, uh, from all, all the writers writing each chapter. And then the editor, uh, the persona here is that their editor is specializing in refining and polishing the content to ensure that it meets the highest qualities. So, and then there's some more instructions here. And then we pass into it uh, the article uh, to edit. So this is a aggregated view. And then we output that in HTML format.
All right. So then finally, uh, we create the title. All right. So this is very simple. Just take the article and then uh, ask the large language model to suggest a title. And then finally, we have the output to uh, Ghost, which is equivalent to uh, WordPress. Right. So we created our account in, in Ghost, and then uh, we output the content. That's it. That's that's the entire flow. And end to end takes about uh, six to ten minutes uh, to process. But you get from the PDF, which is complex, to a uh, nice, concise uh, article uh, that can be posted into something like Ghost.